Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about our top five phones of May 2019. Uh, stick around to the end of this video. We'll talk about two new phones that are coming out at the end of April, beginning of May, and sometime in spring. So stick around. Phone number five in our top five cell phones May 2019 is the iPhone 8. And you're thinking to yourselves, why the was a phone that came out two years ago in our top five? Yep. Because it's super affordable and it's a great phone even today. Yep. So you can find an iPhone 8 on all these different carriers. We're going to feature the phones here on Upphone because this is the only place online, and it just so happens to be our website, where you can compare the prices of a single phone across all the carriers. So, yep. for instance, Metro by T-Mobile, 449 for an iPhone 8. Yep. Great battery life, great camera. It's water resistant. Not as fast as the processor as the newer iPhones, obviously, but it's a lot cheaper. Uh, some downsides, obviously, the home button. People are getting kind of sick of that. They like the full front yeah. to full front so screen cool. these days. Yeah, we should also mention that you can go on Sprint's website, at least for a limited time, mm -hmm. and get the iPhone 8 used for 350 bucks and hop on a $25 a month unlimited plan, so that is a really good deal. That's a great deal. We'll yep. link to our best plans of May 2019 card above description section below. Yes, phone sir. number four, we just did a budget iPhone. Now let's do a budget Android that this phone isn't really well known, <laughs> but it's a super cheap phone. It's, you know, a really good Android. It has all the essential functions of your phone, and that's that why it's called the essential, essential phone. phone. There's nothing fancy about a phone called the essential phone, but 5.7 inch display, yep. nice camera, enough storage to get by. If you want an Android phone for a pretty good deal, yep. this is a way to go. Yeah, it's a great phone. Definitely recommend it for people who are more casual users, ones who don't need all the glitz and glam of the new the new fancy phones. Which we're going to get to at the end. Which we're going to get to at the end of this video. So phone number three on our top five list is the Google Pixel 3 XL. Right. Another really good Android. This one is, I think the Pixel 3 XL is way better than the Pixel 3. And it's just an awesome phone. Great camera, a lot of storage, great battery life. Yep. They've got some cool camera features too, Google does. So highly recommend this phone. Yep, 4K video. Uh, 6.3 inch screen, I think, and uh, yeah. great yeah. display. Significantly uh, better pixel density on XL than on the regular Pixel 3. Right. You want a big phone? This is a great phone. Perfect. Great phone. So, phone number two on our list is the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now, there's also the Samsung Galaxy S10e, which is kind of the iPhone XR of the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. But really, I think the S10 really stands above the S10e. More powerful processor by a lot. Yep. With the Samsung Galaxy phones and Android phones, in my personal opinion, the processor speed is a lot more important mm -hmm. because the operating system is typically not quite as efficient. So although they try to get you with all these fancy numbers, and Android numbers with Samsung phones are always higher than iPhones, mm -hmm. yeah. but the software isn't necessarily as good. Yeah. So that's why it's important to have a phone that's an Android phone that does have these advanced specs. Yep. Eight gigabytes of RAM. The 10 S10e only has six. Mm -hmm. The iPhones only have six. Yeah. Different processors. Different processors. Different yeah, 550 pixels per inch. Mm -hmm. Super sharp. Yeah, get out your magnifying glass because yeah. you won't be able to tell the difference. Right. And one last thing about the Samsung phones is that there will be a 5G model coming out sometime soon. 5G isn't super widely available right now, but when it is, if you get this phone, you'll be ready for yeah, it. Yeah, you should watch our video called 5G is Stupid. Here's why. Yeah, I don't well, know if that's going to be the title of it, but. If they'll be like that, that'll be in the yeah. card above and the description section 5G. below. <laughs> so, our number one one phone, the iPhone 10R. 10R. Yep. And it's kind of the perfect balance between like price and features and functionality. Yeah. It's, great phone. It's it's right in the middle. It's a perfect fit. It's all three categories. It's like Apple wanted to make a phone that's way less than their premium phones right now, the 10S and the 10S Max, yep. because not everybody's going to pay over a thousand dollars for a phone. Right. But with the 10R, it's pretty much, I mean, they had to work to tell people that this isn't as good as the other phones. Mm -hmm. Marginally lower specs, yep. same processor, right? Yep. A little bit less RAM. Same processor as the A12 Bionic chip. Yep. My friend Ryan has this phone. I used it. It's awesome. I mm -hmm. couldn't tell the difference by looking at it that the screen pixels per inch were fewer. Yeah. It's a retina display. The camera's good. Uh, you know, yeah. one drawback here is that if you go so many with your phone a lot, it's only IP67 as opposed to IP68, like right. newer Samsung's and the iPhone XS and the XS Max. But still waterproof. Still, it's, it's still water resistant, just a little yeah. bit less. Yeah, not waterproof. Yeah. Sorry. And also, unlike the new Samsung's, the new iPhones have dual SIM capability. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a lot of people who use that feature, but the ones who do, 
Yep. Dual SIM only available on new iPhones. Yep. That's a great feature. You yep. don't have to have two phones. Right. And you can get a great deal on an iPhone XR Sprint right now. $15. It's like the flex lease. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously good. 15 bucks a month. I think until the end of April, they've got that. We, we did the math. You can get five new iPhone XRs yeah, for, and five lines of unlimited data yeah. for 175 Something months. ridiculous like That's that, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Great phone. Great phone, great Can't price. And it enough. Yeah. So those are our top five. And there are actually two more phones that we just want to throw out there in this video that probably aren't going to be available in May, but they might be released in May. First of all, there is the Samsung Fold. It is a flip phone. But not the way you would think of a, a typical flip phone. It you know, flips open like a book. Yeah. Uh, and there are a few issues we have with it. First of all, the price tag starting at $1,980. Yeah. I don't know who's going to who's gonna drop that in a new phone. And it's kind of clunky of looking because when it's folded, it's like really tall and thin. Yeah, like and a then, remote. And then when you open it, it's like really wild like a tablet. So it's, you know, yeah. you're getting the word, you know, it's too small to be a regular tablet. And yeah. it's kind of thin to be a phone. Yeah. I... It's cool. It is cool. It's very cool. I think the reason to get this phone if you want it is that it is going to turn some heads when people see yeah. flip and open your phone. They're going to be like, oh my God, I didn't know phones could open like that. Or they're going to think of a really old phone, but it's actually very cool. I mean, they keep having those butterfly videos. Mm -hmm. Put that in this video. Right. Butterfly. Yeah. So it has 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is just off the charts a lot. Two batteries, not just one. It has two batteries, and it, there'll be a 5G version of it sometime in the future. Uh, another downside here is there might be a little crease in the middle. Uh, we're not really sure yet. We'll have to get a hand on like some you know some demo videos, but yeah, people are saying that there is a crease that's visible, but only in certain right. certain times, and people are concerned about the durability of it. This is the first phone of its time. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's either gonna be really amazing or really terrible. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. And one other thing that I noticed is that it kind of looks like a Pokedex the way that it has the front cover, you flip it open, you're doing stuff. So if there's an Android developer out there who can make a Pokedex app yeah. for the Samsung Galaxy Fold, they're gonna make a lot of money. You, yeah. can, you can take that idea because I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, the other phone we want to mention here is the HTC One Plus 7. That's like the HTC 8? No, one, one Plus, P-L-U-S. One word and then seven. I've never heard um, that. This is coming out sometime in the spring. Another che a relatively affordable Android, kind of like the Essential phone, is a little bit more expensive. Um, but it doesn't have the premium features that like a Samsung S10 would. The OnePlus 6T, not water resistant. The camera was good. Uh, battery life was okay. So we're gonna need to see if the OnePlus 7 makes those big jumps and kind of catches up with some of the big Samsung Apple new phones. We'll see. Yeah. Definitely. There's all these weird names now. It's like yeah. tenor, it's like tenor, like a singer. You got the 10s, like yeah. Serena Williams' favorite phone. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the one plus eight, the six T, yeah. which is a six and the letter T, and not sixty. Yeah. yeah, it's it's crazy. And and one more thing about the one plus six is that it didn't have wireless charging. Um, we'll see if the one plus seven does. I I don't know. We'll see. One plus. I'm very confused. Yeah, I mean that phone's coming out in the spring. So keep your eye out on that. But run down the list one more time. Fifth place, iPhone. Fourth place, Essential Phone. Third place, Google Pixel 3 XL. Yep. Second place, S10. 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 The end. Number First one, place. iPhone 10R. Mm -hmm. Check back next month. We're gonna just every month we're gonna release our rankings. Yeah, we'll see if these people, if these phones, these aren't people, these are phones. Yeah. David. We'll see if these phones stay in the same spot next month, or if some of them get bumped. I, I have a feeling that if the Samsung Galaxy Fold is a massive hit, it's gonna make the this gonna make. Oh, the list. it's gonna make the list, and if it's, it's a massive failure, it's gonna it's gonna <laughs> we're still gonna rip on it. Yeah, sure. So thank you guys for watching this video. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think of our rankings? Which phone is your favorite? Let us know. If there are any new phones, we should check out. Yeah, did we miss one? Yeah. Did we miss something? There, I mean, there are a lot of new Android phones coming out all the time that are kind of more obscure that people like to talk about, but yeah, they, they, they're not really on my radar. No. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notifications bell to get an immediate alert when we upload a new video.